here we have a table of scores and frequencies okay and the question says the table shows the distribution of outcomes when a die is thrown 50 times calculate the mean deviation of the distribution the mean deviation and the probability that a score selected at random is at least a 4 now let's do this together the first question says calculate the mean deviation of this distribution so what we we'll do is you know the formula for mean deviation mean deviation mean deviation equal to summation summation f x minus x bar all of our summation f now here we have frequency the f represents the frequency okay then x here the x here represents the scores then x bar this x bar here represents the mean represents the mean okay which we don't know presently and the frequency f here represents the frequency so this this symbol here represents the summation of the frequency times the x minus x by in parentheses okay that's just a summation of it why this also represents the summation of the frequency that's the sum of the frequency okay now let's do this together now to calculate the mean deviation we have the frequency the frequency is given this also is given which is the frequency x is given which is its cause but we don't know what the mean is that's x bar we don't know what the mean is so we need to calculate the mean so we can use this formula so let's write the mean that's x bar equal to the mean is always equal to summation f of x all of our summation f okay so this is just the summation of frequency times the scores all over summation of the frequency and this is very 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 straightforward so we need to calculate the mean first then when we get the mean we'll use it to calculate the mean deviation which makes it straightforward so let's do this together so here we have our table i had to create this table so we don't spend time trying to create the tables again so you write the scores here we have scores so we just take it as our x you know i said the scores represents the x here then the frequency the frequency will take the frequency we have frequency okay so frequency will label it as f now in order to calculate the mean we need to calculate f times x now we have f here we have x here so what we just do is we just write f okay times x so we just say times x so this gives us f times x which is fx so let's do this together so let's write the scores out if we write the scores out we'll have one two three three then we have four we have five then we have six then the frequency also for the frequency we'll write two we'll just write all this out again five thirteen eleven nine and 10. Now we need to calculate f of x. So for the f of x, before we calculate f of x, let's let's just take the summation of the frequency. So we have summation f, which equals to now if you add the frequency, if you add this of that's 2 plus 5 plus 13 plus 11 plus 9 plus 10, you would have 50. Now let's solve for f times x. Let's multiply our frequency by our score. So you say 2 times 1, which is 2, okay, 5 times 2, which is 10. 13 times 3, that's 39. 4 times 11 will give us 44. 9 times 5 will give us 45. Okay. Then 6 times 10 will give us 60. So we need to calculate, you know, we need summation f of x here. So you just say summation f of x equals to. So if you sum this up, that's 2, 10, 39, 44, 45, and 60, you'll have 200. Let me make this clear. 200 okay you have 200 so the next thing is we need to calculate our mean deviation from the mean so what we'll do now is we we'll calculate our mean our mean will be summation f of x which is 200 all of our summation f which is 50 so 0 cancel 0 5 year 1 5 year 4 so we have our mean as 4 so that means mean which is x bar equal to 4. Now to calculate our mean deviation, what we'll do is, now if you notice here, we have, from this formula, we have summation f, we have summation f, that's summation of the frequency, we have that, but we don't have summation of the frequency times 
x minus x bar in parentheses. So what we'll do is we'll first write out x minus x bar in parentheses. So that will be x minus x bar in parentheses. Okay, what this parentheses means is here we'll say x minus x bar, which is like x, the score, minus the mean, which is x bar. Okay, so if you start calculating probably 1 minus 4, which is x minus x bar, and you get a negative value, the parentheses makes every value that you get it makes it positive so instead of writing minus three here you just write three okay the parenthesis makes every negative sign positive all right so so let's do this together it's interesting actually <laughs> okay so now this is x minus x bar so you have x minus x bar so you say one that's for the first x minus x bar which is four okay so that will be one minus four which is minus three so instead of writing minus three because of the parenthesis we just write three Okay, now the next one says which is x, which is 2. You know, we're working with x minus x bar, so this will be 2 minus x bar, which is 2 minus 4, which is minus 2. So we'll just write positive 2. Then 3 minus 4, which is minus 1, because of the parenthesis, we write positive 1. Then the next one, which is 4 minus 4, will be 0. The next one, which is okay. 4 minus 4 which is 0 then the next one is 5 minus 4 which is 1 next one which is x minus x bar okay 6 minus 4 is going to be 2 so we have our x minus x bar now the next the next step is to calculate the f times the x minus x bar in parentheses f x minus x bar in parentheses okay so this f the frequency times this okay will give us this so we just say 3 times 2 and that will be 6. 5 times 2 will give us 10. Um, 13 times 1 will give us 13. 11 times 0 will give us 0. 9 times 1 will give us 9. Then 10 times 2 will give us 20. So we can now write summation f x minus x bar in parentheses so sum everything here when you sum this you will have 58 you can always write 58 okay so now we have summation f x minus x bar in parentheses and we have summation f so we can just find our mean deviation so our mean deviation equal to 58 so just write 58 which is this okay here all over the summation of the frequency which is 50 so if we solve this, we have 58 divided by 15, that's 58, 58 divided by 15, okay, 15, that is 1.16, that is 1.1.16, alright, so this is our mean deviation, and the question says, okay, calculate the mean deviation of the distribution, so this is our mean deviation. So the next question says, Calculate the probability that the score selected at random is at least a 4. So, what we'll do here is we'll look at this statement at least. Now, in probability, the, the statements at most and at least are usually used. Now, when you see the statement at least, okay, when you see the statement at least, what it means is that number or more than that number, okay? Then, when you see the statement at most, it means that number or less than that number. So here, when we talk about at least a 4, it means 4 or more than 4. Okay? 4 or more than 4. So we're going to find the probability that the score selected at random is at least a 4. Okay, so let's just write this here. Number 2. Okay, this is our number 2. Let me make it clear. So we have number 2. This is our number two. So the probability of at least a four, at least a four equals to now the probability of at least a four is the probability of picking four or five or six. Now you remember that probability probability equals the required outcome required outcome all over required outcome all over total the total outcome so would you also use the same would also use the same concept here to find the probabilities so write probability of at least at least a four equal to now anytime in probability that we use the word or 
or or like this okay you use the addition rule to to combine the the probabilities but anytime you use and you see the word and in in probability any question involving probability it means you use the multiplication to combine your probabilities so we could just write probability of four plus probability of five plus the probability of six so here the probability of picking a four is now the number of times we can select the score four which is 11 all over the total the total frequency okay the total number of score which is 50 so that will be 11 all over 50 let, let me show you that again so you see we have 11 which is the total number of times the score four can occur okay 11 the frequency is 11 the total number of time the score 4 can surface okay is 11 all over the frequency the total frequency that the total outcome is 50 so we just have 11 over 50 so the next probability probability of selecting a 5 occurs 9 times all right so we'll just say 9 all over the total frequency total outcome which is 50. Then probability of selecting a 6 is 10, which is a frequency all over the total, which is 50. So you have 10 all over 50. So by the time we solve this, we have 11 plus 9 plus 10, okay, all over 50. You know, anytime you are solving fractions, we are working with fractions that have the same common denominators. Just pick one of the denominators all over 50 like this. So you have 11 plus 10, that is 21. 21 plus 9, that is 30. So you have 30 all over 50. So 0 cancel 0, we are left with 3 all over 5. So the probability of at least, probability of selecting at least at least a 4 equals 3 all over 5.